Hi guys, so welcome back to another plan with me video and as you know from hearing from my previous video, my last plan with me video, I'm going to try to do a talk through this time around. I feel kind of nervous, I have to admit, so I'm not lying because I'm not a public speaker, so <laughs> this is a first for me, but I do want to practice and practice until I'm confident and comfortable with this. So this week we're gonna start with Christmas. Yay! I've decided to use Sweet Pink Elephant's um, Erin Condren Winter Dreams Kit. This is a matte kit and I'm just gonna spread it out to show you guys what's included in this kit. So you have your full boxes, your weekend banner, me time. You have your half boxes, quarter boxes, flags, icon stickers, bill dues, appointment boxes. This one you have your, <clears throat> excuse me, washi, bottom washies, and your little and some little washies here, and your headers. Oops, this one's upside down. And this one is also more washies and um, your appointment boxes with icons in them. You have your decorative stickers up here with some icon stickers, your check heart boxes, your check heart flags. I also got um, the check heart boxes here too. So this is, I believe, is their deluxe kit. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six sheet of stickers, and I'm pretty sure this will be a no white space spread too. I think I might do what I did from last week. I do like that, but I also do like scatter. So I'm gonna do scattered this time. So let's get started. I'm just gonna flip through. Um, throughout this video, I might zoom through things so that, you know, you don't have to wait for me to like, for example, now flip through stuff. Okay. Okay, so we are going to plan on December 4th till December 10th. Firstly, I like to go through mostly the kit, look at what I'm doing right now. I'm going to also pull some washi out because Erin Condren stickers are shorter than your your full boxes here for Happy Planner. So you, there are dead spaces that you could cover up and I am just going to go pull out some washi and I'll be right back. I'm gonna take this page as a color reference so I can match up with all my washi that I have. I'll be right back. I am back um, with some washi that I picked out for this week's spread. So these ones here are available at my shop. Um, this one is just your typical glitter washi tape that you could buy at Michael's. Same with this one. This one's um, from the Recollection tube collection and it's their Christmas theme too. So, and I picked this one out because it really matches well with the green in here. This blue, I'm not too sure if I want to introduce another color because the baby pale blue matches a bit more than this one. This one's a bit more teal, like turquoise aqua, like deeper blue. But we'll see. I may not use all the washi that I picked out, but it's I just like picking out a few so at least I have some options. Thinking of using, um, so these are Erin Condren bottom washi and I'm gonna use these on top here to cover my date covers. So it just hangs, hangs like this. And then I'm going to do the same for the other side. You know what, I'm going to trim this part off. My initial thought was to like maybe leave it on and then put a thin washi border here, but I don't think my washi is wide enough to do that. So I'm just going to score it and this should come off easily like that. I'm gonna score the other side too, same thing. So, what, what, like through a talk through, I know people just talk about anything or everything. I just don't know what to talk about with you guys because it's just, it sounds like, you know, it sounds silly, but it sounds like I'm talking to myself, but I know I'm talking to you. 
and that's why I'm not good at these talk through because I I just I just don't know what to say or ask or anything but <laughs> that's me okay so here we are I am so happy that it fits so perfectly well up here I am super surprised so I'm gonna find some date numbers to place them up here so I don't mix up my days I found these old date covers that I have from my mystery kit and I figure I'm gonna use the circle date dots because my current ones so as you know my current ones are die cut kiss cut die cut out maybe I use that I think that will look okay you know what I changed my mind see I do not pre-plan um, on what I want or what I use I just go with the flow every time I do my video so I'm just gonna put a four here there we go yes that looks nice right <laughs> So I just finished my Black Friday orders today. Yay! It took me longer than I thought. <laughs> I didn't expect such amazingness from all of you guys, so thank you. And I'm so sorry if it took longer than I thought it would take me. Like, I thought I could do it in one whole week. But I was wrong, I'm so sorry. But they're all out, so you guys should be getting yours soon. And hopefully mail is not too bad. Like the postal service at this time like of year is just insane because of the holidays and people sending stuff. So I, I'm starting to hear, you know, other people not getting their thing on time or that they're complaining that it takes longer. But it's the holidays and it's expected, so I don't know why would other people complain that. I don't know. Maybe I'm just talking. I'm, I'm maybe one-sided on this opinion. <laughs> but anyways, okay, so I'm so happy that the header works out with the bottom washi like this. And I have my dates on it. I'm not too worried about saying that if it's, you know, the weekdays underneath that because I know that this is Monday and these are my weekends, so it's a no-brainer there. Okay, next I'm gonna do my bottom washies here, and I'm gonna put a washi up here too. So I think I'm gonna do stars right here, and I'm going to balance it off with my scallop and heart hair. So at least I have two pinks. So it balanced my, my weekly layout. So that's when, when I do plan with me, when I just do my regular filming and then over, voiceover, this is what I think in my head. I'm like, okay, I think I'll do the pink and then we'll balance it out here. Like I do talk to myself in my head when I plan and film, but now I, I have to speak out loud and talk through and talk about what I'm going to do. I'm not too worried about this. Mm, I don't know what you guys think. Okay, I'm just gonna cover it up. Cause at first I'm like, oh no, it looks like, you know, confetti and sprinkles, like very decorative holiday. But then the more I look at it, it's just like, mm, it's gonna bother me. It's already starting to bother me. So what I'm gonna do is just gonna put some of my labels here. So as you can see, it's a blue blue background sticker because it is a block through sticker where no ink will go through the bottom. So it actually literally really hides everything. So I'm just gonna start from there because that's where I'm gonna start putting my washi. And I'm gonna rip it off there. Where's my washi cutter? A washi cutter meaning slash gift card that I put stickers on both sides. People have been asking me like, oh, where did I get this washi cutter? It's literally a Starbucks gift card. And I just printed out my pattern and my logo on, on a sticker paper, obviously. And then just place the sticker on top and just trim it around and there you go. <laughs> this is what I use and that's how I make it. So I do not sell it because it's so easy to make. There's no point of me just making and selling these things except if it was transparent I would love to have the transparent ones but yes these you could just make yourself or not even make and just use um, 
a regular gift card. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Oh, by the way, if you guys are looking for labels like this, you can also use Avery ones. I also sell these, the ones that I'm using right now in my shop too, if you don't wanna buy a whole package from Avery. But yeah, I'm gonna do the same on this side here. So you guys, oh, before I talk to you guys, I'm gonna trim this and I'll be right back. And there we go, now we can start with the bottom washi. Okay, I was about to say, like, how are you guys doing with your Christmas planning and everything? Like, are you guys ready? Are you guys not ready? Did you guys even start or not? Um, I think this year I've been pretty good about gifts and decorating and everything. But mind you, because I do do plan, like I plan out my day, my week, my months, so I'm pretty organized that way and not leave everything to the last minute. Um, I can't deal with the stress of last minute things or shopping, especially with people shopping. And when I shop, when I shop last minute, I can't deal with other people. I have no patience because I just want to get stuff done and get out of the way and that's why. Okay, so I've laid this down. I'm gonna use my scallop washi here. And I'm just gonna put a trim right above. Maybe I should have done that and then put the other washi on top. Let's see. Oh, I hate this one. You know, do you guys ever have that? Like you're just looking for the, uh, the, the, the tip of the washi tape to where it starts and then you're just going in circles and circles and you're running your th fingers through it and you can't find it. Like, that's the story of my life, guys. <laughs> I feel like every time when I do a plan with my planner with washi, I literally go round and round in circles at least three times before I could find the end part. There we go, I think that looks cute. I love scallop washi because it just adds a very adorable trim to anything that you want. Scallop really makes things look dainty, I think. That's my opinion, like scallop, ruffles, anything. Yeah, look at that. It's coming along, guys. It's coming along. Yay. So up here, I'm debating if I should do scallop too. If I do scallop, it'd be like, I don't know. Let's see. Let's put down this star washi. So this star washi is an ombre pink. It goes from pink to white. Um, I overlap out here because I know I'm going to cover this part with something that I will find in my scrapbook. Oops, I'm about to rip it with my finger because if I do, it won't be straight. Like, what do you think? I think I'm gonna add some trim to it. This seems very, very simple. Not simple, but just plain a bit. Okay, there we go. Oops, things catches on. I feel like I need a bigger filming space <laughs> sometimes. Oh, the reason why I jetted out here is because, I don't know if you guys could tell, there's like a corner missing here. I didn't really cut this straight from my from this one here. As you can see, it's kind of popping out too, but whatever, whatever, it's okay. I feel like this plan with me video is gonna go on forever, right? <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna put this one here so it matches the bottom. So it ties everything in together. That's what I like to say. You gotta make things balance. Balance it out. Yes, so we were talking about Christmas, Christmas shopping. So. We've been hosting Christmas. Um, I think we've been hosting it for the last two years. This is my third year hosting it again. And I don't mind, like I love it. I love Christmas. I love when all my family comes over and everyone's enjoying and having such a great time. I just love that. And I don't mind hosting it too because <laughs> I might be bad saying this, but you know what? At the end of the day, you know, you had your fun, you have so much to drink. You're, you're home already, right? You don't have to like, you know, 
dress up everything, pack up everything, and then drive home, and then get home, unpack, and yeah, I just love. I don't mind hosting. I don't mind even preparing for it because, as I said, I don't prepare. You know, the week before, I literally take a whole month to prepare. But yeah, I've got most of my Christmas list done, Christmas presents, gifts done, and. Mm, for the kids, me and my husband will be doing it together. I got my husband's a gift. I got my family's gifts. Only thing I haven't done yet is um, a part of the house. There still needs some decorations and also sending out Christmas cards. I got to do that this week. I got to do that. <laughs> That's the only thing I haven't done. And it makes me nervous. And obviously um, Christmas baking and cooking. But that I would do the week of. Okay, so what am I doing here? I can't talk and do this. That's why I need more practice in when I do talk throughs. Maybe I should do that. You know what? Like when I film, I should just talk through while I film, pretend I'm doing a talk through, but then it's going to be a voiceover. Well, that be strange. <laughs> I, I don't know. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh no, this is not. Um, a full box. This is your weekly daily habits. So, so we have eight. Yes. So I'm going to use the quote box as I've done before. One, two, three, four, five here. And then the rest, I'm just going to spread it around. Yes. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then the eighth one. Thank you um, for letting me know what this area is called. It's called the thankful box, thankful, thought box, thankful, <laughs> box area. That's from um, Erin Condren, as you know, the Erin Condren. Do you have a blank box here where you write your thankful thoughts or your um, daily thoughts? But yes, so I'm going to put either this, I'm going to put this one here. Yes. Okay. So let's get this done, scattered down. So as I explained before in my previous plan me how I do my scattered, it may seem like it's chaos, but it's not. There is a system that I go by. Um, I do a diagonal V, like a diagonal like this way, and then come up and then come down for my full boxes. And then from there, I apply the same rule for my other stickers, which you will see. So the here, and also another rule that goes with that, I like to spread out my decorative and my pattern because some of the kids do have patterns. Like, you see how the patterns are back here? If it's just patterns with no ornaments or no um, image, then I will separate them out. But because all of this, like, I would consider these two almost the same pattern, so I'll spread those out. And these may be the same pattern, and I'll spread those out. And these are almost the same too, yes. I spread those out too. So I'm gonna put the Christmas tree in the middle too. Just like this one here. Um, I don't think I've ever done a scatter with the Erin Condren kit, so I don't know how well it will work out. It's my first time doing this. Um, so this is gonna be here, so I'm gonna put, okay, so if this is gonna be here, I'm gonna put this one here because these two are very close in color. So I'm just gonna put, uh, a green one up here like this. There we go. And I'm gonna put the candy cane. I'm so confused. I think I'm gonna put the candy cane here. Oops, that's not a candy cane. I'm gonna put the candy cane here. Yes. Once it's down here, and I'm going back up. So this one, this one should be an ornament. Did I screw this up? Maybe I did. Because I feel like this is like the same. Oh. Okay. I'm just, no. No, we said the ornament's gonna be up there. What are you doing, Cindy? What are you doing? Okay. So I'm gonna put this one up here. 
right? And then I'm going to put this one right here and that one down here. I feel like, no. I'm going to put this one right here. It's crooked. I'm not even gonna try lifting it up because it's my rip. Okay, so we know these two left. I'm gonna put this one down here. There we go. There we go. We figured it out, guys. Yay! We did it. Okay. Oh, my sticker face is looking so bad. Okay. Ooh. Okay, there we go. So now I'm gonna save this page. This is gonna go up here when I do the sidebar. Okay, now I'm gonna trim this with some more washi just down here. I'm gonna use my pink garland one. Or should I use purple? My purple bow. I'm gonna use my pink garland one just to add the trims and also to make up for the lost space here. And that's why I love about washi is that it just covers up anything or that you want to cover up. There we go. And then with the top part, should I do the same? Just to carry it out so it looks evened out. And you know me, it has to be balanced. Everything has to be balanced looking. So Christmas this month, I know it's gonna be really busy for me because I've already done my monthly view and judging by it, it's already been crazy hectic. Um, also planning for new stuff that's coming out next year, which I can't wait to let you guys know what's going on. Hey, <gasps> you guys, look, it's like, already looking like Christmas. I love it. I love this kit. I love the colors. She did a very good job picking out the colors. The pink, the purple, and the green. I didn't want to go traditional red and green this year for any of my spread because I did that last year. So I'm going to go something different, but I love it. I love how it goes. Okay, so next I usually like to do my meal plans or my to-dos. So she does have her to-dos here, headers. Her little things, important dinners, exercise, cleaning next week. I'm glad she has next week because I like to use that. I'm just going to go through her kit to see, yes, she has meal plan stickers. So we're going to use that. Um, you know what? Before we do that, I'm going to do today's. See, I change my mind so many times when I do plan with me. So I'm just going to alternate colors each day how I do my scatter planning. I know some, there's like different patterns that you could do. Um, I'm not gonna put this one here because it's just ridiculous to put your to-dos and things like that, because what? I'm gonna switch out the gray one here because I can't really see it. And I usually do, um, I usually do, maybe I should put the pink one there. I usually do five days of to-dos and that's it. I don't do a to-do list for the whole seven days. There we go. So once I have that done, I'm gonna put the checkbox. Cause I could do the flags, but I'm gonna do a no white space. So I'm gonna do a checkbox. So with the checkbox, I have an option. Should I do it all the same colors or alternating? I think I'm gonna do the same color so it doesn't go crazy, you know, wild, busy thing. So at least it's like a bit more organized and structured. Like that. I know that's crooked. That is so crooked. Eek. Eek. Oh my god. Now when I see other people doing plan with me and when they try to lift up their sticker, my heart also like stops with them too. Because it's just so nerve wracking. You don't want to rip the page. You don't, you know, there we go. I saved it. So once again, this is from Sweet Pink Elephant. 
I found her shop um, when she was doing the why is all my stickers all crooked doing the planner boss collective sale and I was looking for a Christmas theme kits and hers really popped out so I decided to give it a try now this is really crooked like what is going on Cindy okay I give up I give up <laughs> okay I usually like to do my Mondays to Friday first and then weekend I just like figure it out after so I don't have to worry about that. Next, I am going to do my meal plan stickers. I'm going to do a different color because if I just add on another purple, it just looks like a whole row of purple stuff going on. So I'm just going to do different colors throughout the week. Now with the meal plan, I do need seven of them because I do plan my meals every day. Okay, I have no idea when did it stop recording. I wish this camera had like some kind of alarm or a ding or a buzz so that it will let me know when it stops recording because when I plan, I look down. I don't look up to the camera and look at the screen to say, hey, it stopped recording. Now, what's left here is all my um, today's event, like what's going to happen today or stuff that's important. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys can hear my little one. When I do talk through, they are just outside the room playing around. I like to use little things. I find little things sound so much better than today because today, to me, it feels like it's the whole day and it's not really a whole day. So I'm going to use little things. But before I do that, I am going to put another washi border. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, that works. That works so much better. Look at this. It's coming along, guys. It's coming along. I'm sorry if it's taking too long, but it's coming along. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do the total opposites of the colors, the things, the little things. Oh, okay. So because I did purple hair and then pink for the meal plant sticker, I'm going to do green. So I'm going to alternate. So it's it, at least it balanced the whole page out. It's all about balance. All about balance, guys. So So Monday, what do I have Monday? Lots of things to do. Oh, I've decided also today, yes, to videotape, videotape or film, sorry, to film. <laughs> I'm like talking back in the 80s or 90s, videotape. I'm gonna start trying to film on Mondays because I usually film on Fridays for the week after, like then for the next week. And I find a lot of things do happen on um, the weekend that would determine my week too, so I think it's better. Well, I don't know if it's better or not because I haven't tried it yet. I'm gonna start trying to film on Mondays. I can't do it on Sundays because of my little ones and it's family time and I don't wanna take that time away. So I'm gonna try doing it on Mondays. So at least I have a clearer picture of my week. Okay, so I know, I know that Boxing Day, Boxing, this day is for boxing. And I'm going to put, I'm going to put one of these beautiful full boxes and they are curved. Yes, so that's why there's washi here, washi here. I think I'm going to put it under a pink background because of, um, because of the header. Reason why I chose purple is because here was my thinking, breakdown thinking. If I do green, it's too green around here. I feel like it needs to be filled in with some purple. So I'm gonna put purple here. Gotta apply for art class for my little one because she wants to do art class after school as an activity. So I have to fill out a form and pay that. 
And one day it's just gonna be grocery shopping. With new kits or kits from different shops, it takes me a while to familiarize um, what's in the kit. So I don't like, I feel like I don't wanna miss out anything. I'm gonna use my washi as fillers too at the background because. And I'm so happy that this color really matches the kit itself. So for my today section and little section, I decided to do a voiceover because while I was editing this, I find myself mumbling a lot and it sounds like I'm just talking to myself. So here I am just gonna voice over this part. So Monday I have a lot of emails to catch up with and um, directly speak to my supplier and vendors. Wednesday is my design and create day. Thursday, I have to make sure all my Christmas card goes out. Um, I feel like it won't get there till like the second week or the week of Christmas. But yes, we're gonna make sure I'm gonna mail out my Christmas cards. My husband has an exam on that day too. My Friday is gonna be a little bit more busier because there's a few errands I have to go out to run, especially to buy some few things for the weekend. I have to get my daughter's concert costume um, and also buy a birthday present that she's going to attend on Saturday for that day and we need to go to Costco because we are so low on supplies. Friday I'll be uploading this video here, this talk through slash voiceover. As I mentioned before that I'm going to try something new, I'm going to film my plan with me on Mondays and Tuesdays my laundry day. So now for the weekend, I'm going to place the weekend banner on the top. And mostly during the day of all Saturday is pretty busy. Uh, my little one Penny, she has skating lessons in the morning and then a birthday party to attend to in the afternoon. With Sunday, I like to leave one of the section as my next week list. So just in case I haven't finished any of the thing that needs to be done this week, I could write it there so I could back to that list when I start planning my new week. So for Sunday, we decide to do a um, mummy and son and daddy and daughter day. So my d husband decided to take my daughter to watch Coco. She's been asking since it came out and she literally is counting the sleeps before the movie came comes out. And yeah, she's really excited with that. So when my husband's with my daughter at the movies, I'm gonna take my son to get a haircut because he still need a haircut. Only thing that's left is the bottom box right there for Saturday. I'm gonna fill that up with my washi tape and just create a decorative box there and maybe put, put a quote stickers in there. Once the week is done, I'm gonna work on my sidebars. So I just got this pink scrapbook paper and cut it to size. Obviously I'm gonna use my double sided tape to tape it down. I went with the solid color because I find that when I do scatter planning, especially with a lot of prints, it gets really crazy and chaotic. So it's better to just anchor it down with a solid background. I am also gonna add some washi trim just to balance everything and tie everything together. I use these daily tracker. Um, I've seen people put Instagram or what they're gonna post that day for that week. So I'm gonna try that out too. I'm going to flip through this Man Beep sticker book here that I got at Michael's and this is all about Christmas and the holidays. I'm just going to flip through it so you guys can see what's in this sticker pad. Also I got this from Michael's too. It's just a simple gold foil quote sticker. And I'm just gonna pick one of the sticker out to place it in that blank full boxes that I created. Full box, not full boxes <laughs> that I created. And also a quote for the sidebar just to fill up that empty space. And now it's time for the ink. Usually when I fill it in, I also put down my functional icon stickers at the same time. So I decided to do a voiceover near the ending part because I felt that number one, yes, I was mumbling while I was planning my days. And number two, I felt the video was getting a bit too long and I know you guys don't wanna just sit through like a really long video where I just chatting. That's why I decided to end it with a voiceover. I'm 
I'm gonna put a sticker here because it looks very empty. And I think I'm gonna do this Marius Wishes right here. There we go. Very cute. And that's it. I'm just gonna put this into my planner. I'm really loving this kit. And I'm so surprised that the Erin Condren washi fits up here. I think she kinda made it smaller. It's not like your typical, I don't know. Cause I don't really plan with my Erin Condren. I only use it as my mock-up. And sometimes I just do it all in my Erin Condren. But yeah, I'm surprised. But I enjoy it, I love it, I love it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Like, I feel like there's just two weeks left. Two weeks left till Christmas. Like, I gotta start crunching. It's crunching time. <laughs> and there we go. If you do enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, I don't know if I would do this every time from now on, but I do know that I do need to practice more, but I don't mind doing um, voiceovers. Just let me know in the comment what you guys think. If you guys want to sit around and hear me talk or that you'd rather have me just watch me do my plan with me over with voiceovers, which is a lot faster than talk through plan with me. So I hope you guys are having a great week and I will see you in my next video. Happy planning. Bye. Okay, here I am just cleaning up and I totally forgot to show you guys what's left of the kit itself. As you can see, I was like clearing up my whole work area. Okay, so what's left? You do have a lot that's left from this kit. So obviously I finished using all my full boxes. However, there is still an extra me time sticker here. You do still have a lot of headers here and also washi tape. Um, this one is my check boxes, your weekly, daily habit tracker here. And you also have some more stickers down here. I have a lot of appointment boxes left and a few more washies and this is still like half full with the heart check flags and your icon stickers and your decorative stickers here and same with this the leftover of the half boxes I used up all my quarter boxes oops this is upside down and you have your build do stickers and smaller icon stickers dot stickers and your page flags so definitely you could use this kit again for a second week spreading um, I use this kit as you can see as a no white space and it worked perfectly well it's Erin Condren so yeah I'm so sorry I was cleaning I'm like wait a minute I forgot to show you guys what's left because you do need to know, and I definitely think this is really great value too for, for a kit that has so many stickers in it and you have so much to left, to left over. You can use it in your personal or even spread it out for next week. So yeah, there we go. Okay, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.